just past Thomaston's classic downtown is the gateway to the St. George Peninsula, standing sentry off Route 1, the Montpelier Estate. It's unlike any other building. People are intrigued by it, and many people don't know about Henry Knox. Born into poverty in Boston, Henry Knox became a Revolutionary War general and the first Secretary of War under George Washington. He was also a self-taught architect who helped build Montpelier, now the Knox Museum. Executive Director Lee Hefner. Lucy, his wife, inherited a large block of land. Once they got here, they decided that they were going to make it their home. Henry died in 1806 and Lucy in 1824. Knox gained renown for the noble train of artillery. During the winter of 1775 to 76, his expedition brought armaments from New York's Fort Ticonderoga to Boston. And the day after it was placed on the Dorchester Hills, the British evacuated Boston. The original Montpelier was torn down in 1871, but local volunteer Mary Watts raised funds to reconstruct this replica, which opened in 1930. She's a testament to volunteers and main spirit. So many Mainers, you know, sit around a table and say, okay, let's do this. Other landmarks in the area are humbler. Residents of St. George are very familiar with this yellow house. It belongs to the humble farmer, whose given name is Robert Scogland. Today, he shoots the autumn breeze with his friend, Wilder Oaks, an artist. He in Fort Clyde, you smell the fish. Up there, you smell the cows. Scoglin's nickname comes from a CB radio handle inspired by a Charles Dickens character. My grandmother liked Dickens, so I said, I'll be the humble farmer. Humble is well known for hosting radio shows and writing witty columns. He and his wife, Marsha, also used to run a B&B. &B. The APW, the Almost Perfect Woman, is my wife's car. I love the summer people. They have stories to tell, and I write them down and I sell them. <laughs> what about you, Humble? What kept you here? What was so attractive? Couldn't afford leave, just like my father. Kidding aside, these lifelong residents say there's no place like home. It's got a magic to it that's mm. like no place else. People come here and say, well, you've got a little culture here. How could you have culture there in St. George, Maine, and Rockland? I think we all underestimate other places until we go there and say, wow, my God, how come we ain't got this at home? Just down the road from Humble's house is Wilder Oaks' studio. His oil paintings and other artwork are shown in galleries across Maine and in New York. The area Port Clyde figures deeply in your work? Pretty prominently. Oakes grew up in a Port Clyde fishing family where money was tight. His paintings read like folk tales about coastal life and personal struggles. Another recurring theme, angels. Real, not imagined. He says he saw one as a toddler. That's my first memory. It's just this being appeared to me. Oakes also recounts having a mystical near-death experience as a young boy when he nearly drowned in a pond. I heard this kind of low musical note, and it was intensely bright light, the brightest light I've ever seen. I know this sounds like a lot of hocus pocus, but uh, you know, it is still vivid to me to this day. It gave me a very deep spiritual nature. But alcohol, says Oakes, got in the way. It took several tries before he was able to quit and stay sober. Art and his otherworldly memories became his salvation. When I start wiggling that brush, I get really peaceful. As hard a knock life as I've kind of lived, I've come to a point of self-love. This is a big part of who I am and what goes into the paintings. And Oak says the life-size painting of an angel that you just saw that he's currently working mm -hmm. on will be, when it's finished, his most important work honoring his experience with the spiritual otherworldly Very side. vivid and very meaningful to him, those experiences, and he tries to convey those. Back to the Knox Museum, if you were not familiar with that museum before our story tonight, you may have heard of Fort Knox in Kentucky, mm -hmm. also named after Henry Knox. All right.